think about, you know, what the Vietnam War was in the 60s. So that's, you know, not that long ago. It's but it's but it's 60 years ago. Yeah. So when you think about it that way, it's like 55 years ago, whatever. Let's call it 55 years. Like 55 years is a pretty good long time. Yeah. Right. Like it's a little bit longer than Biden's been in uh, only <laughs> only a few more years than Biden's been in office <laughs> or been in politics in, in Washington. Um, things that should have changed since then haven't. Right. You know. Right. That's I guess that's the best way and to do it. And that's just laws that should have changed. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's again, the mind is something else, but laws that should have changed. Uh, yeah. It's just a slow track. It's and you can't change. change the you can change people's minds, but you can't just flip the switch. No. Like, but for people that like these people claim that are to be here, law abiding citizens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what the law is for. When they say we want law and order. Well, when you change the right. laws, it, it automatically triggers and starts switching their mind. Right. And the law has to be that way for almost as mu much time as the law wasn't that way. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. To, even even if you say something as simple as a seatbelt law. When they right. first brought out the seatbelt law, people were still, you know, right. after seatbelt, well, you know. <laughs> and, and also, like, in, in that particular case, it's been played true in most cases is when they started saying, oh, well, you have now we have to start putting seatbelts in cars. Yeah. There were still all these cars that didn't, that didn't have seatbelts. Seat so, yeah. you know, what do you do in that case? Yeah. Do you write tickets? Does everyone have to go buy a new car? Right. And like, so, and really, so you could, you could, you could they, play that out. Right. And they almost afforded you time until those cars right. were out of, until they really started enforcing it. Right. Because right. really you end up in, with that situation, you end up with a situation where it's really a lot of poor People right. being ticketed when they can't afford the ticket anyway because Correct. they can't afford to go get a new car. So it's, you know, when you look at things like that, again, when we're talking about keeping people down and really watching out what type of laws are being put out there and for what reason. Yeah. If you look at the seatbelt law that way, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Even the True. insurance law. Because I don't know how. Right. Has it always been required? requirement to carry car insurance i doubt it so i don't know and i know that's a state thing not a um not a federal thing but i don't i mean i can't imagine that it has and and for me insurance is an interesting thing i'm anti-insurance right. i don't think you should be required to carry insurance unless if i go out and buy a brand new car and i use the bank's money to do it the bank has the right to tell me I have to insure that. Right. The state does not have the right to tell me. Right. In my opinion. Right. Because it's that the I bank's have to money. Insure that car. Yeah, it's the bank's money. It's their car.